How do you differentiate between nephrotic and nephritic syndrome on the USMLE? This high yield topic is guaranteed to show up on your USMLE exam day. And I see so many students getting it wrong. So let's simplify it. Nephritic syndrome is all about inflammation. When the glomerulus gets inflamed, the capillary walls become leaky. Red blood cells start slipping out into the urine. That's why you see hematuria and usually high blood pressure because the inflamed kidneys retain salt and water. Nephrotic syndrome, on the other hand, is a problem with the charge barrier. The filtration membrane loses its negative charge, so big plasma protein, especially albumin, starts leaking out into the urine. That's why you get massive protein urea and pitting edema. So here's how to remember it. RBCs in the urine, think nephritic. Protein in the urine, think nephrotic. Examples of nephritic syndrome include post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, and IgA nephropathy. Examples of nephritic nephrotic syndrome include minimal change disease, focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, and membranous nephropathy. Now, what else do you see? Nephritic syndrome usually shows a low GFR, smaller kidneys, and hypertension. Nephrotic syndrome, on the other hand, causes low oncotic pressure, generalized swelling, and high cholesterol because the liver goes into overdrive to replace all the proteins lost in urine.